Good mother morning, people. Mother coffee time. Today is March 23rd. Thursday. How is your Thursday going? By the time that you see this, it'll probably be up on Friday or Saturday. Who knows? I'm a little bit behind on my videos. But for y'all that don't know, I'm on vacation right now. And it's pretty interesting. Like, when you were a kid, I, we used to get vacations all the time. And I don't know, time as a kid, it just goes so slow, right? We would have spring break. We'd have like random ass breaks. I don't even know. At least my school did. But anyways, um, yeah, I've just been literally chilling with my parents and friends and just hanging out. I haven't really gone to the gym at all. I remember on Monday I tried loading the plates on the tried loading the plates on the bar. I was like squatting it. I was like, fuck. I'm like, it just wasn't happening. I was like, you know what, fuck you, Kevin. I'm just gonna give you the week off. Um, just enjoy it. And it's my birthday. And part of me feels a little very anxious. Like, I really wanna get to work. I really wanna start working out and like doing random shit. But I do realize the importance of recovery. And I realize that for the last three years, uh, pretty much ever since I became a pharmacist, I barely took any vacation. And you know, it's sort of it. It's like, oh, don't be a pussy. Um, just just truck through everything. But one thing that you need for growth is recovery. And I sort of realized that it gets really tiring, just like pumping out content all the time um, and all that sort of stuff, you know, because I'm doing so much. And I really need to, I've been just taking this time to just decompress for a bit, you know? Anyways. Uh, yesterday, my friends took me out to Thai food in Hollywood, which was awesome. I'm so grateful. Uh, I'm not a fancy ass dude, so, you know, even the smallest things mean a lot to me. And um, it's pretty crazy. Uh, three years ago, four years ago, I didn't really have that many friends in California. And to, to start something new and to start over again, it feels really great. And it's a really great feeling that even when you're busy and when you have friends that literally drag you out of the house just to hang out, just be like, hey, Kevin, dude, let's just go grab dinner and like fucking play cards and shit. We're playing Chad ID or Big Two in Chinese. But um, yeah, it was just like it just brought all these high school memories. I haven't touched cards in forever. And it was just a kickback. It was really nice. Anyways, uh. Part of it, too, was that for my birthday, I took my parents out to eat. Um, I took my friend Cindy, uh, who I think is hella hot, by the way. Um, maybe you guys don't think so, but I think she's beautiful. Anyways, uh, I took her out to, um, to Sugarfish yesterday because I made a promise to her that, you know, on her birthday, which was like, oh my God, it's almost half a year ago, um, I would take her out to to Sugarfish. So we went to Sugarfish. It was really nice. It was a really nice lunch and shit. But yeah, um, and like uh, the other day, we went to Korean barbecue with uh, Angela and stuff. My parents love Angela. Angela used to bake cookies for my mom all the time. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we went out to Korean barbecue. And during this whole thing, like as I'm treating these people out, you know, it's. It's just a moment of appreciation. Cause like, I think when I first went into pharmacy, I wasn't that appreciative of all the things I had because I didn't really have that much. Um, now that I've built some money up, um, now that I'm not so like, what's the word? It's not like pinching pennies and stuff, but now I have a little play money and I like giving back to people a lot. And I really, really stress giving back to like investing in relationships. And so we went out, um, so I'm just, so one of the best feelings, like, you know, we're at Korean barbecue. My parents are Chinese. They don't, well, they're, they're pretty open to all sorts of food, but they never really had a Korean barbecue experience. Only time I took them out to Korean barbecue was, uh, uh, no, uh, was Haijian Tong or whatever in Koreatown off 6th street. It's the place with the fat pig. It's all you can eat. It's bomb, by the way, but I want to take them to a nicer sort of experience, you know, for Korean barbecue. 
because when you have all you can eat it's kind of like a buffet type of you it kind of like you get that buffet mentality and it kind of lessens the quality of the experience right and so that's why i took my parents to kang hodang um it's this huge chain but it's one of my favorite places though quality meats really good quality service is also really good and um it like you know it's it's a little more on the pricey side but it's not like baller baller pricey you know what i mean um but for four of us we had a really good meal um and i just took care of the bill you know even though it's my birthday my parents were like no don't but it's um it feels really good to give back you know to take care to work really hard all these years and to give just give something back it's not the first time i've obviously treated my parents but it's the first time i've seen my parents in such a long time you know um for y'all that don't know my parents live in boston so we live really far away i never get to see them and i don't know like um as my dad and all that gets older i ask myself like how many more how many more dinners are we going to have together as a family because my dad's already 70 years old he's already having trouble walking and stuff well partly because uh he's the mother of s <laughs> i've been trying to get him to exercise we've been doing the mother walk but anyways um yeah how many more dinners and it feels so good to just give back and just like you know what just enjoy the experience i got you you know what i mean it's not a huge deal now on the flip side uh one of my biggest problems back in the day was not letting people pay for me because for me it just i don't want to say it comes off weak it comes off a certain way right and um sorry i had to take a sip um it comes off a certain way like i don't want to be perceived as weak i don't want to be perceived as needy but sometimes like my mom took her friends uh we went to boston lobster on the day before i know it sounds like i'm fucking this baller ass we go out to eat every single day and we fucking blow money it's not like that we don't really get to see each other that much so my mom took her friends out to boston lobster and uh i i, I didn't pay for that but um the thing is like sometimes it's okay to let other people pay and have that good feeling you know as long as you know that they're in a good financial state like i don't feel ethical like letting somebody treat me if they're not in a good financial state you know what i mean but it's it's good to spread this feeling of giving and that's what pharmacy is all about right when you're day to day when you go into the pharmacy you're giving them service and you're giving them sort of like ignore all the hater shit like when, when people like are demanding they don't want to wait fuck that just just remember that you know pharmacy is all about giving and the reason why you work so hard is to give a really good experience to the people that you love around you and that really hit home for me this time on my break you know um so many times a lot of people are just so focused on themselves even me i'm very focused on myself a lot of time like career wise and all that that you just forget about the stuff around you the people around you the people that really matter the people that care about you and so that's why i think gratitude you know i i talk about it all the time but gratitude is so important because it forces you to stop and just think and just think about the people around you that really elevated you in your life the people that were those homies when you know you you were you had your heart broken but they took you out they they just were there you know and i think that's what pharmacy or working hard or working hard on anything is all about and people ask me what's my biggest motivator what what drives me and stuff and i think at the end of the day what drives me the most is trying to help those people around me and that's the reason why I want to work so hard because I don't want my parents to ever worry, worry about money even though I think they're probably financially secure at this point I don't know I don't know how much they got but I'm pretty sure that they're financially secure but just in case you know I can take them on these really cool experiences that they'll enjoy in their later life with me obviously because I don't want to be hustling in the pharmacy all the time but anyways guys um just just a random talk today just a 
moment of gratitude, son. And I hope you guys have a great day. And if you're in school, if you're in college or in pharmacy school or in the pharmacy, just remember, it's not going toward nothing. It, your hard work is going somewhere and it's to provide really good experiences for yourself, but also the people you love too. And you don't want to let them down. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Huh.